Greetings, us tiny folks, and welcome back. Jarvan, back with another brass video. This one's going to be a follow up video uh, related to the unboxing video of a fairly unusual valve trombone that I picked up a few days ago. And since that video, I took the time to uh, do some maintenance on it because it needed it. And uh, also bought a new mouthpiece for it since the mouthpiece came with it, it had some damage to it. The challenge I had with the instruments that when I did the maintenance on it, uh, I could not remove the bottom valve caps from the valve casings. So I had to make do with what I had. And also, uh, when I used the snake on it, it didn't remove everything in it. So when I re-greased the area for the slides, I used a Q-tip for the places in the tubing where the slides go in and it came out nasty. Um, the valves, but now the slides work. The valves still work, but they're a bit noisy. I may have to take it in to do a more professional cleaning job on it. Another thing I did, uh, did since then was I bought a new mouthpiece for it because the one that came with it had some damage to it. And what I bought was a Fax brand 12C mouthpiece, which for small shank trombones, that's the size that's commonly used. I'll go ahead and put the put everything together and see what works. about this particular instrument. I took the time to get this in tune with one of my tuners, seeing how far I had to move the tuning slide out. When I tried to check my tuning of it with the slide all the way in, it actually came out in the range of B instead of B flat. That's actually a advantage because if you have an instrument that's tuned sharp, that means you have enough room to get it in tune, whereas if if the instrument comes out flat when you get it, you might as well use it as an A instrument instead of B flat. Um, but so it's, it's working okay, uh, despite being used instrument. Um, so uh, for a little quick run through, my demo on this will be a. Uh, an exercise that I've been working on my other trombone. Uh, one that's on a page and thing where I haven't gotten good enough on it to actually record it. But it's a page 38 of the Rubank Air Man method. And it's actually titled Scale and Or Chord Etude. And it's the key of A flat, which gets pretty high, but manageable on special on this. Uh... 
with this thing, guys. It's a little bit better than the box, but still needs a little bit of work. So what that's I've been able to do since the video. But one of the things I just tinkered with because finding out that the mouthpiece my other trombone didn't fit because my other trombone is large bore, one and a half inch, where this was like about seven sixteenths. I did a little experiment with the trumpet mouthpiece. My other trumpet mouthpiece actually fit. The only kicker is a uh, especially on the Bach band, the mouthpiece designed to go into the instrument about 25 millimeters or one inch. I put this in this instrument. It does seat, but it goes in over 30 millimeter, roughly an inch and a quarter. So in comparison, the mouthpiece made for it, those would probably tend to come out sharp. I'm using the one e mouthpiece I mainly use on my trumpet. And it's gonna be an interesting deal because. It definitely doesn't sound. So that sounds like the low C of a tr B flat trumpet, but this ain't be a B flat instrument. This is B flat. So even though I try the mouthpiece, I can still get the low E. Now, Double high B flat, easy because that's the high C of a trumpet. Let's see what I can do from there. Double, triple high B flat. Try doing that on a trombone mouthpiece. If you've ever heard of a noob pro hacker, that's hacker. Fun little experiment. Thanks for watching and all the best.